So my name is Albion and today I'll be presenting our solution Antis Cloud. And just before starting, if you could, I would like to thank on behalf of my team, Matthew and his team for organizing this great event. And we are really honored to be part of this great journey. And I think, guys, you could, we could give a, a round of applause for their great job that they are doing here. <laughs> this is our first time being here, and we are really honored to be part of this great journey. And as Matthew mentioned this morning, we're all in the same ship. The market is really big, and there is place for all of us. And I think, in my personal opinion, we are not enough company providing solution for our customers, and we have a lot of things in common, and that's how we can share and work together. So at this cloud. So our founder Altis was founded by Florian Fouquenet, a reality capture specialist. We are located in France in Annecy, and at this cloud was created from real case business. Our founder Mr. Fouquenet has more than 12 years of experience in reality capture. And during his work experience, he encountered different problems while sharing and working with point clouds. So Atis Cloud helps you uh, answer to different use cases. And nowadays, Atis Cloud is used all around the world in different use cases. And today, I'm going to show you some of them. So Atis Cloud and your challenges are well known when working with point clouds. Your first problematic is storing the data and sharing it, because working with point clouds is really heavy data. So the first way to share your data would be using hard drive or cloud platform. Sending the hard drive is not very safe and might take some time. And using classic cloud platform like WeTransfer, Dropbox, Smash, the client will be able to download the data, but they cannot work and visualize it directly on the browser. And so they would need most of the time a powerful tool, powerful computer, a software, and most of the time, a license to use the software. So at this cloud has helped you answer all these needs, and you need only an internet connection and a browser to work on the point cloud. You don't need a third-party software installation to be able to use at this cloud. So it's really a plug-and-play solution where you drag and drop your data, and you're all ready to go. So at this cloud is a mixed with a digital twin and a reality capture. We integrate in a workflow that already exists. So in the first step, you have the phase when you create the data, when you capture the data. Artis Cloud is compatible with all point clouds, regardless of the scanner device, whether you're using terrestrial, uh, UAV, mobile scanning, or even tablets. So in the first phase, you'll be capturing the data. You or your uh, clients might be capturing the data. The second step is that's where you get the point cloud, when you register the point cloud. For example, uh, you'll be getting the recap project, E57, or LAS. And once you have the point cloud, in the third step, that's where Atis comes in. So you just need to bloat your data, drag and drop. There is no processing to do on this data, and there is no installation needed to do. And the particularity of Atis Cloud is that we do not modify the original data, because we think that we should keep it as it is, and this data should be reliable at any time of the duration of the project. So you just drag and drop your file like a Google Drive, and you upload your, your files uh, usually. And on Atis Cloud, you can also integrate 2D and 3D models, like IFC, OBG, STAB, 3DS, Textured Mesh. So like that, you can do 3D simulation, compare your BIM models to your point clouds, uh, view them through VR, work in a collaborative way, and lots of other tools that are here to better uh, analyze your point clouds and your BIM models. And on the fourth step, you can, of course, easily export uh, parts of your point clouds to recap if you seven or LIS to work on your uh, local CAD software. So on a T-Cloud, you have tools to best work with your point clouds. We use a uh, secured storage space, and we store the data as close as possible to the client. We use AWS resources. So for example, for clients in US, we'll store the data as close as possible so they can choose in three data centers in US. For those in Europe, for example, France, they can choose Paris, Frankfurt for Germany, and so on. You have also different authorization management, cropping tools, uh, 3D simulation, auto-save, multi-device. I won't explain every one of them because some of them will show them during my demonstration. 
And please, during my demonstration, when I use different use cases, you can try and project yourself how you could be using these tools on your own use case. Our customers, uh, as I mentioned earlier, at this level can help you answer different use cases. And we mainly have uh, manufacturers, surveyors, architects, consulting firms, real estate asset managers. Every one of them have a different need and different use case. And the aim of Atislav is the uh, customer service. The DNA, the DNA of Atislav is made of point clothes and customer service. We are also capable and able to create specific, to do specific development to improve or answer a need that you might have on your daily basis. So now we'll switch to the demonstration. I'll be showing you a lot of different information and different use cases. And as I said earlier, you can try and project yourself how it could be helpful for your own case. In the beginning, we'll see the data compatibility, what kind of data you can upload on Artist Cloud and how it will be used. I'll show you different tools to better take measurements, to crop, export the data. And also, I'll show you different tools for quality assurance, quality control, electro border, uh, delivery electronic node, and how you can stream this data to other software, other software like Digital Bridge to outside of Artist Cloud. So just before starting, imagine all the tools that I will be showing you, they could be yours. Just imagine that. So data compatibility. We all know that different uh, scanner manufacturers, they already have the cloud platform where they can share the data. And we all know that it's really difficult when you have different scanner types to share the data and use the data as it should be used. So the aim of this cloud is to be an agnostic platform where you don't have to worry if you change your scanner type if your data is going to work. Because on this cloud, you can use ter terrestrial scan like RTC 360, Faro, Trimble. You can use mobile scan like Navil Velix. You can use UAV photogrammetry and also mobile mapping like Leica, Pegasus, or Viametries. We are compatible with their point clouds and their 360 images also. The second step is we, you need to have tools, large panel of tools, to get the best out of the point clouds. Because our aim is really to give life to point clouds and to be able to use them easily. So all the measurement that you'll be placing on the viewer, you can change the unit of measurement regarding the country that you're working. For example, feet, meters, inches, miles, really depending on, on where you're working. You, has, uh, you have plain surface, for example, to measure the, 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 the roof. You can also use the same uh, plain surface to have the facet. And since it's a plain surface, you can add points outside of the plane. And also, you have the similar tool to use measurement only on the ground. Uh, you can also easily have information about a particular part of your project. For example, the measurement point. You can get the coordinates and everything that is related to that. Different attributes, classification, intensity, uh, heat map, or everything that it has to do with that. Also, another tool that is very easy to use and that I like very much is the height. So you can easily have the height of the chimney, for example. And for uh, all the other tools, when you place the measurement, you can easily come and modify its position and is going to update the result. And at any time, you can hide your measurement. You can save a project, display what you're willing to display, and share it very easily with uh, your clients. Another tool that I will be uh, presenting here is the Profile Height. So Profile Height provides a side view of uh, terrain elevation. So it's really easy to use. You place your two uh, nodes, for example, you can have two or more nodes. And you can also set the length and the width of this uh, measurement. And so you have a 2D representation of, uh, of your path. And at any time, in real time, you can come and change the position of your nodes, for example. If it's not the wrong path, or if you want to add other nodes, you can easily do, do that. And the result is going to update automatically. And of course, if you want to change the attribute of the point cloud to view uh, classification, you can view the classification in this uh, 2D view, for example. For the measurements, we work with structured data. As I mentioned, there is no limitation uh, regarding the point cloud and his structure. 
Uh, here we have a structured point cloud. We are in a 360 view while we are viewing in the station the image. And you can do all kinds of measurements. And when you exit the 360 view, you'll be able to view the measurements and, of course, go and modify them. So here we're going to do another height. And this works the same for unstructured data. You can enter the 360 view. And while you're viewing the image, place your measurement and then change the opacity to view. And here we can also, in less than three seconds, we can have a flat re representation of this building by using the X-ray mode to see through the walls and then using the mode of ortho image to really have the view of the top. And you either you can do measurement here or export the ortho image to integrate to another software that uses the ortho images. Also on this cloud, what's important, depending on the project that you're working, is to offer you different display modes. This is really interesting. The elevation, classification, and the intensity also. And when you're working with structured data, every station has different intensity. So we give you the possibility to play with these attributes to modify the data range, the range of the intensity, for example, to have the best result that you want. It's like, the, like using your Photoshop when you do different kind of layouts. And also, we give an attribute composite where you can specify your own ingredients, like your own attributes that you want to display to have the best result on the viewer. So here, you can use composite. You set the value for the color, for the intensity, for the classification, their data range also and to have the best result on the viewer. And once you do that, you can save a version. And in simple clicks, you can show it to your clients. And he can, he can see uh, the outcome of the, of the project very easily. Also, when you apply these overall uh, display modes on the overall project, it, we keep the same thing when you enter the 360 view. By default, you view the image when you enter the 360 view. But as I showed you earlier, you can change the opacity. And when you change the opacity, you will be able to find the same attributes as you configured or directly display another one. For example, here, we can easily display the elevation. And as I mentioned earlier, you can save your settings. And every user can save his own settings regarding what he's willing to, to work on the, on the project. So another interesting tool, and that, which is very useful for those that have to handle a lot of data, and most of the time they need only to work on a part that they are modeling, for example. So on this slide, you can use the cropping uh, tool. It is a very easy tool to use. By default, it has the same size. You place it on the viewer. Uh, you uh, change the length, the height, the, the size from every uh, axis. And also, once your clipping box is correctly placed, you can change different modes. For example, you, could, you would like to see only what's inside. So you can concentrate your time on that. Or you want to see only what's inside. And by saving this version, you can show your clients only the part that he's interested to. And the same tool can al lets also to export the data. And in this project, uh, we have a structured data. And we are going to extract the pump that we're seeing over here while we are in the 360 view to view the image for a better quality. So here we're going to use the same tool as before, the clipping box. And as I mentioned earlier, you're able to change really the size. And it's really user friendly to be able to place it. Because most of the time, people that use the platform, they're not technically used with this kind of tools. So this is very user friendly to place the box and be able to do that. So to make sure that we got the pump correctly, you can change the opacity while you're in 360 view. That's what we're doing here. And then you can come and still modify the clipping box to make sure that you have the integrality of the pump. And Artis Cloud offers two ways of exporting the data. The fastest one is via the browser, where you can export to LIS. It is done in less than 30 seconds. And the other one is via the server, when you can expo export it to Recap Project, LIS E57. So here we export it to LIS. And we're going to show you the result on a Recap Project. And you can find the same result as in or on Atis Cloud. And at any time, you can export another part and integrate it on, on Recap or elsewhere. We keep the coordinates, and the data is going to be filled correctly. Collaborative mode. COVID showed us that we no longer 
have to be together in the office to validate the project and that we need to evolve the way that we work together. And that's why we have the collaborative mode where multiple users can connect at the same time on the project. So here the first user is connected to channel 208 and he can share this information for other colleagues that need to work in this project. And the other colleagues that are going to connect to the same project with the same channel, uh, you can go up to as many users as you want. So here the second user is connecting and the goal is literally to work simultaneously on the same project. So once the second user is connected on the others, if one of them, in this case, will take the example of the user one, if the user one is creating measurement, it can be creating annotations, adding 3D models, the other users are able to view what is he adding, and at any time they can come and modify his measurement. And we can also see their location. We can do the same thing through VR. You can see yourself working on the project. If you're working with georeference data, you can display the, projects, the projection on the map projection. So as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, this cloud is a platform compatible with all point clouds, in this case with mobile mapping also. And here we can see the project on the map projection. And since it has images also, we can enter the 360 view image on structured data. And at any time, you can change the opacity and view uh, the, the point cloud only. And if any time you need to get the, the point cloud, the original data, you can always download it. And also the images if you need to extract the, the images. BCF annotation. When working with uh, different BIM models, it's very important to be able to detect anomalies easily and to be connected with other tools. So in this example, we are compatible with BCF annotation and a classic annotation. So here we can see that the pipes are clearly misplaced and is not correctly as it should be. So you can easily create a BCF annotation like on any other uh, software that they are compatible. You give a title, you select if it's an issue, improvement, uh, you can select a priority, who is responsible so the person will receive a mail that a BCF annotation has been assigned. You can add different labels so afterwards you can sort some stats regarding the labels, a due date, attach documents to better document the issue so the person that is going to deal with that has all the information he needs. We also take a screen capture of what the user who is creating the BCF annotation is viewing and you can give description. And once you have created your BCF annotation, you can save the version and whoever, whoever has access on the project, they can easily view it. So here, for example, we have created, we can find all the information that we need. And thanks to that, on Atis Cloud, you'll be able to export PDF documentation with your BCF annotation. So here we'll select only two of the BCF annotation currently available on the project. And you have an uh, automatic report with all the information, coordination, who created, is it done, is it not done, when it needs to be done, for example. And if you guys are working on BIM Collab or, BIM Collab or Revit, you can import their, BIM, their BCF uh, annotation, and likewise, you can export their BCF annotations on Atis Cloud and integrate on the tool that you're used to work locally. So here we just exported the BCF, and the same BCF you'll be able to import, and there are other tools that are co compatible with BCF. We all know the struggle of sharing texture model because of the size, they cannot go more than 20 megabytes, for example. So here on this slide, we, this is in a beta test. It is just added recently, and we are able to upload a high amount of data of textured models. Here we have an annotation that is, uh, an animation that is added, so I can show you around this castle. So this is an OBG, textured OBG, and we are able to view it through the browser, and of course you can view it through your tablets because at this is multi-device solution. And once they are there, you can do 3D simulation, change the translation, change the rotation. You can also change the scale by giving coordinates or by moving, moving them around. And also you can do any kind of measurement on the uh, OBG that was added or on the point clouds also. So here we can see we have the texture of the castle, and if I need to have to upload the point clouds also, you can easily do that. The layout implementation, we all know that remodeling can cost a lot and is not uh, always necessary. 
uh, but if you don't have the tool, you should uh, remodel uh, objects. So Atis Cloud is the only platform where you can do 3D simulation with point clouds and beam models. So here the objects that are being added are point clouds, and this is really useful on different use cases. One of them is if you are relocating machines to another, uh, to another uh, place, instead of modelizing them, you can extract the point cloud that you need, the machine, for example, and import it on the project. So here we have point clouds that are integrated in this project and also Bay models. This is very useful for, for the production line. They are incapable of telling how they were last year. And so like that, you can archive your, your data and find it at any time that you need. Quality assurance and quality control. You all know that data is gold, but are you sure that the data that you have is a quality data that can be reliable and can be used afterwards? That's why on Atis Cloud, we have developed electronic delivery note, which helps people to tell what they're willing to receive. I want to receive a structured recap project with uh, images, classification, and a certain number of points. And the guy that is doing the delivery knows exactly what is he de delivering and knows if it respects the recommendation. So here, for example, I have already created a template which I demand to have a recap project. I can sort them with a category structured. I want another uh, project with recap on structured and also uh, BIM models. You can also be asking uh, PDFs and other, other documents. You can easily duplicate that template because regarding the project, you won't be demanding the same information. So you can easily duplicate it and add what you need to add for this template. And the same tem template can be used for other projects. So here we can see I duplicated the, the last one. And I'm going to add for this template that I would need to receive uh, photogrammetry data. So I'm going to allow the delivery guy to add photo, uh, photogrammetry data to LIS format. If it's another format, E57, for example, I'm going to allow, to allow him to upload E57 data. And I can always give a description so he knows what is he delivering. So here we're going to write LIS data set and create it. And at any time when you have your templates, you can know how many of them are used, how many of projects have been completed, delivered, so you can make the payment, for example, or know that the data is here. So here is, I assign this template to this project. I know which is the company that is delivering the data to this project, and at any time I can change the template to assign another one, for example. This is the, my view, for example, that I created the template. I'll be waiting for recap projects, structured, unstructured, and the BIM model. This is the view of the delivery guy. He received the mail that he is responsible to deliver the data. And this is his interface that he's viewing. He can only approve recap project structured and recap unstructured and also a BIM model. So he is not going to deliver other data unused. And the data that he's going to build, we demanded to have a verification. There is an algorithm at this cloud that is going to run regarding the pre queries. So the first step when he sends the data, he can see that his data is being sent and is being analyzed by the algorithm of Atis Cloud regarding the, the request of the, of the one who created. Once the algorithm checks and everything is correct, he goes to the step two. He sees that his point cloud and his B model is correct. It respects the recommendation, structured, and we'll see the diagnosis just after how it looks like. This is the view of the guy that demanded the data. He can see what he received. He can accept it or not. He, cannot, he can refuse because he finds out that all the stations have only the intensity and they don't have the color. And for, the, for this project, he demanded to have a diagnosis of every file. So he can easily download the diagnosis and find all the information and decide afterwards if he accepts the data or not. So for example, here we can see that this project has five stations, has, is structured, has colors, doesn't have classification. He can see if it is georeferenced. In instance, this one is not georeferenced. But this is what he demanded, and he's going to accept it. And once the, we are sure that you have the good data and this is OK, you can validate the project. All of the parts will receive an email telling that it is done. And once the project is delivered, you can download the delivery note, where you have a PDF file with all the information, the company in charge. So here we can see the company in charge who delivered 
at what time, how many versions back and forth you sent because something was missing. And once it is done, you, you make sure that the data is there and you can do the payment or move to the next step. Also, for quality control, we have to be sure that before moving to the next step, you can rely on your data. And if you are demanded to have a specific precision, pre precision on your point clouds, you need to make sure to have tools that prove you that, okay, you can move to the next step because the data is correct. So here we are calculating the density. And once the density is done, the border, the yellow border will go off. And you can easily place as many as you want on the parts that are very sensible for the project. And you need to make sure that the data is complete. Another tool for quality control and quality assurance is slice plan check to check if the point cloud was registered correctly. Because depending how it was made, it can be not registered correctly. And you can see every point from which scanner type is coming very easily. And the other tool that is really important for as-built uh, models. So here we have an IFC and the global uh, project E57. And here we are checking to see if it's correctly modelized as-built. So here we can see the parts that are correctly modelized, which means that within tolerance, because you can change the tolerance at any time regarding the position of the project. And if we switch to the outside the tolerance, here we're going to see all the parts that are missing in the B model. So here in this case, all the desktop, the chairs are missing, and even the floor. So you can easily document through the BCF annotation what's going on. Altis Cloud wants to be the bridge between the digital twin and reality capture. And we want to really uh, change the way people share their data. So we have our Revit plugin, which is in a beta test. You can, guys, I recommend to go and give it a try. You upload your data on Atis Cloud. You install the Atis Cloud plugin on your Revit. And the goal is to stream your data like we are doing on the browser. So you, instead of having your hard drive on every Revit post, you will be directly streaming the data from Atis Cloud. And once the data is actually on Revit, you can use all the tools that Revit has. So you can really benefit from the, from the tools of, uh, of Revit. So here we're really streaming the data from the cloud. And at any time, if you change your, your personal computer, you won't have to worry if your data is with you, because you can always stream your data and continue modeling like you're used to modeling on Revit. But you won't have all the phases of converting the data uh, cutting the point cloud to smaller parts so that you can be open, you can be able to open it on uh, Revit. And also, the point clouds are visible in the section. And also, you have the new streaming of the point clouds. Basically, everything that you were able to do with Revit uh, before. Sharing the data, we have two ways. You invite the person on the project and you give him the rights. And the second way is to share the data easily, public sharing. You enable the public sharing for a project. You set an expiration date. You can at any time regenerate the link, for example, or switch it off. You send the URL or the QR code so that people, without having the need to connect or install anything, they'll be able to view the project, all the 3D simulation or BIM models that you integrated. He can do any kind of measurement. And also, he can view the project in VR without having the need to do anything uh, particular as long as he has an internet connection and a web browser. So here we are opening the project that I put in public sharing, and we find the same panel. While opening the public sharing, it doesn't mean that the guy has, to do, has the right to do anything, everything. He cannot download the data or delete the data. Imagine uh, the first question that I asked in the beginning. Imagine everything that I present. It could be yours, and it can actually be yours thanks to Artist Cloud subscription. And by, for information, RCN is just, uh, is just a test to show you guys what you're able to do. So you can have everything in your color uh, customized and with unlimited number of users. So you can manage the, the, the communication, the colors, and the way that you want to use it. What are our next steps, are our next uh, futures on Atis Cloud? So we are going to release the final version of Revit integration, because it has been for more than five months now that clients have been testing. Next, it will be the integration of Boston Dead Dynamic uh, spot integration, where we'll be able to schedule to capture the data automatically. 
Also, we'll be releasing uh, the possibility to export the analysis of the Bay model with the point cloud directly to Recap or Revit. And we all know that technology is moving really fast, and we think that what's missing in the industry is artificial intelligence. And we're also starting to work different ways how we can integrate artificial intelligence with point clouds to give them life and to be able to 